What's up guys, it's Adrian Jr. here with Sin City Outdoors and this video is going to be kind of a short one. It's going to be catch and cook and this is, I mean, we were out off the water by 11 so I didn't get too much footage. It was 117 degrees, took out some family. So this is just going to be like a play-by-play -play action of what we did over the day. So enjoy and right here we're catching some shad. Richie's out here throwing the cast net. Getting them shad. I'm going to try to take the shad over to some striper boils. See if we can hook up. Oh, nice. There it is. Oh my goodness. Did I guess it is that Look at that. The shad are here, people. Lower it, lower it. You're going to kill them. <laughs> So really quick, I want to tell you guys the rigs I used for live bait because I didn't get the time to explain it actually when we were out on the water because like again it was 117 degrees and we were ready to get out. So right here is the one I use the most is the Carolina rig. You have your weight to a swivel and this one's just a swivel head laying around. You can have a, a bead to stop the weight or anything and about a foot, foot and a half long leader to a hook. I got a three out hook right there. and this one's the one I use mostly for my live bait fishing. Just put it on the bottom and the fish can swim freely. Another one I'll use is called the Kentucky Rig. It's pretty much the exact same thing as a drop shot where your your weight will be on bottom and your hook will be way on top. So when it sits, it's like this. You can even fish a drop shot rig with live shad. And the last one that's actually works really good and I'm coming around to like it a lot is just a free swimming hook. Just tie on a hook, put on the shad and just let them swim away from your boat and they'll grab it, trust me. So a lot of you guys have been asking how I hook my live bait, my shad and stuff. So I'm going to show you guys on a lure right now. Um, there's, there's two different ways I hook live bait. So let's say this is your shad and his nose is up here. I'll hook him in the nose right in front of the eyes. You'll see almost like nostrils. So if this was him, I'd hook him somewhere around here. They swim really well like that. And there's one other way. I hook a shad and this way I only hook it I only hook it like this if I'm free swimming them. He would have a fin right here. You go right behind the fin and down, not reaching the spine. On on fish they have a lateral line and that's where their spine go. On this bait you can kinda see the lateral line. I'd go about in between the top of the fish and that lateral line behind the fin. And that way I usually free swim them like that and anything else just straight through the nose. And those are the ways I hook up my live shad or bluegill or anything you're fishing with. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, leave it, leave it, let it go. Oh, yeah. First one of the day yep. for the catch and cook. What? People been asking about striper catch and cook. There it is. Oh, you had one. All right, get the get the lines in. So this is our live over right here. We just keep all our shad in there and the striped bass. Oh, nice. uh, we're gonna get more. We're gonna get more. Oh, he can play. Great day out here caught a couple striped bass. What we did to catch these is we fished the Carolina rig with shad on it. Just off the bottom, probably about 30 feet of water, produce some striped bass. We're gonna go home and cook these up. My cousin Nathaniel's over. He should love them. Alright, let's go cook them up. Yeah man, that's a nice one, dude. Yeah. Hey, just look, mine's bigger now. Alright, so I'm filleting these fish. If you guys want to see my fillet video, go ahead and click the link up above. Yeah, but real quick, I want to show you guys what's in this fish's stomach. You never know what's in it. What's in their stomach. You find something different every single time. <laughs> Anchovies and rocks. 
He was eating rocks and mussels and stuff. It's crazy, I've never seen that, see? After preparing all the fish, we start off by mixing two eggs. We add about an inch of oil to a pan. Some flour, oil powder, and some garlic salt and just mix it in a bowl. We cooked the tilapia first, so we just covered it in some of the eggs and dipped it in the flour and just made sure it was covered really well. So once it's covered really well, you just put it in your oil. This one only took about five or six minutes and it was good to go. We decided to chop up the striper into little nugget sizes and we put in the egg and mixed it up really well, made sure they're all nicely coated with egg. Then we threw them in the flour with our seasonings. You want to make sure they're really covered well with that seasoning that makes it taste good and then we just dropped it in oil. We just left it in for about four or five minutes before we felt like it's just all the way cooked through and we took it out. We just chopped up some tomatoes, onions, onions and lettuce. And we also got some tartar sauce because we're going to make some tacos out of them. This is what the finished product looked like. You know you gotta try one. Take one of those little pieces. I'm gonna do it next Look at that. Do their stuff. Would it like a power plug? Delicious. Is this like a game? It's good, yeah. These stripers turned out amazing right here. Um, We caught them earlier to make some tacos. Our cousin Nathaniel's over here visiting. How'd you like them? They're really good. Yep, so just making some tacos here. Having a great time. They're delicious. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you outdoors.